I just paid two hundred and twenty four dollars and eighty cents for this unit. Whew, and it looks like it's gonna be a good one. I don't know what kind of motorcycle this is, but we did get a really good deal on this unit. This is like the cheapest unit I've ever purchased. The first one that feels like under a thousand dollars. We got a lot of furniture in here. There's a golf or a go-kart back there. It says it's a gold wing Honda. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't really know anything about bikes here, but we're about to take a picture of this thing and see what it's worth online. All right, it is a 1981 gold wing with 15,187 miles. Definitely gonna pay for the unit right off the rip. Even if it gets parted out, we should for sure be able to get 300 for it. So we'll instantly make it profit. Perfect condition, they're going for about 3,800. So, I mean, depending on if this runs or not, because we don't even know if it's gonna work. We need to put a new battery in there. We should be able to easily get about $1,500 for this. So right off the rip, we already up a grand. <laughs> we haven't even gotten into it yet. Is this like a launch for a that, kayak? That is a kayak dolly. Yeah, yeah, a kayak dolly. And there's the kayak right up there. Hey, okay. we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, we, well, we got also another motorized vehicle in here. We got a little go-kart. Well, first of all, you got these tires, man. These tires here, at least, that's two to $300 right oh, there. Oh, they're new, $200, too. they're brand new. Yeah, they still got From the drag sticker specialties. on them. Yeah, all right, so. A little kid's go-kart. It's got four flats. Yeah, but everything else looks good on it, man. It's got a 49cc motor on it. Upgrade that baby to a 250cc. <laughs> and we'll rip it. A condor! Oh. <laughs> Stay safe, boys. It's about 250 bucks for the go-kart. Sorry if it's windy as well, too. There's like storms coming in. Okay, so this is a motorcycle cover right yeah. here. It's got like a tent. Alright. It's right. a couple hundred bucks alone. Now. Really? Yeah. Dang. Pretty expensive. Okay, well we get a hundred bucks for the motorcycle cover. Yeah, it's actually a cycle bolt. You can actually ride in there and then uh, just zip it right up. Got a lot of furniture here we're gonna be with today too. The the lady who was at the auction, she was telling me that this is custom. This pink bed right here. I think we can sell that at Britney Spears. <laughs> we also got this really nice dolly here. That's actually gonna come in handy today. Yeah. One of the things that I have not invested in yet. This is actually a pretty nice one too. So this one's not getting sold, meaning it is priceless. Priceless, yes, this is my dolly now. Look at the storm coming. It's coming. What's that? It's a ladder to hook onto something. That is oh, a, like boat a boat ladder. ladder. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey, bro! That's a nice one. There we go. I'd say that's fifty bucks at least, right there. Yeah, at least fifty bucks for the boat ladder. Like compacts like nothing. Right. You got some just home decor and some junk. Thirty empty house floors. Oh no, shoot! Thirty empty house floors. RV. Dang. No, yeah. Was it Was there two Dude. of them? Well, yeah, is, like yeah. is that thirty or fifty? This is thirty. Those are like three hundred dollars brand new, right? What? Yes, and that's one hundred foot long. <laughs> Dang, just the RV. copper value alone in these things is. Fun. <laughs> yeah, but brand new, like three hundred dollars, brand new. That's crazy. Easy. All right, well, for the extension cords, we what one hundred fifty? Sure, I can get at least two hundred out for. I mean, two hundred dollars for piece. two extension cords. Yeah, these are like high powered, like thirty amp for RVs or a generator or something. That? It's a vibrator, I'm that, pretty sure. That is a, that is a, that massager. Is a massager. Oh, it's a massager. You can use as a vibrator. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hey, smell it. What's it no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I smell the ocean. I'm not touching I don't know. I don't want it either. Oh, it says power massager. Okay, we're good. But I, I still don't know if we're good or not, though. Uh, All right, well, we'll put the mighty mic back in the buckets. Oh, we got some paddles and stuff. Is that pickleball paddles? Is that what these are? That's not paddle ball. Paddle okay. Ball. I'm gonna say we could probably get five dollars out of this box and just miscellaneous sports stuff. Hey, what do we got here? It's a whole case of something. It's like spray adhesive for skin, and then you put bandage on it. So a bandage doesn't have adhesive. Oh. You spray it on there, and then you, then you bandage them up and stick to it. Oh, Man, why would you have a case of it? Whole box of that stuff. Ten dollars for the whole box. It's I don't know why he's got a whole box of them. There's bro, it's like tw look, what? When did you see that? The motor. Dude, you know the motor back work? here. This is like what? About a, a 90, early 90s? Johnson motor? Johnson. Johnson, Johnson Everett OMC. Um, I'm familiar with boat motors, man. It's eight horse. We can easily fetch a thousand dollars for this. What? Yes. For the eight, eight horse? Now. Let's see. Actually, what year is this? It's a, it's a 94. It's a 94. So yeah, about a thousand dollars. Easily. That thing's old though. Hey, pull the cord. <laughs> see if there's any, uh, com uh, see if there's any compression or if it'll actually pull. Like Might be one. locked up. Yeah. <laughs> so two hundred dollars. Two hundred for parts. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. We got. We just got all those bandage 
like liquid bandage stuff, and now it says when wound care hurts. Oh boy. The importance of addressing the pain. Maybe they got in an accident or something. So this is all like medical records here. If it's medical records, I'm not gonna look into it too much. So I think this person must have gotten hurt somehow. Yeah, look, it's right on top of a freaking wheelchair. No, I think this guy made was like a doctor or something. Hey, certified wound specialist. Well, oh look, there's other ones. Diploma for orthopedics, primary. So yeah, this guy was like a doctor. That's why he explains on all these wheelchairs. Stuff and all, that. all these awards and stuff that we find throughout here and pictures and stuff, we're gonna give to the front desk and they're gonna return it to the person who had the unit. Here we go. We got two Logitech old keyboards. Probably get five bucks piece. Five bucks piece. This is a huge kayak. That is a oh that must be a God. that must be a two-seater kayak. And you got a portable stove, man. Yeah. Portable campings. Is it camping? Oh, is it in there? It's brand new. I got a seal stamper. Damn, it is brand new. It's still in the wrapper. Like, yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. It'll go up like 30, like 29.99 or no. Yeah. Right. We got a little step ladder here too. Oh, it's busted though. The top. Secret. That's fine though. Back. That can be bent back. Yeah. The fact that it's messed up definitely devalues it quite a bit. Well, I know you can take it to the scrap yard and scrap the aluminum and at least get like five bucks for it. For so, sure. Some of this other stuff that we're gonna keep, I gotta. Plop down my trailer door here and we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Damn it, Kyle, what did I tell you about laying eggs, man? Stop laying your eggs every day. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Do you know actually these old stuff animals like this? That should go for good money. Wait, listen. Oh, old, old Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pool. You hear that? This thing's talking. It's the Easter Bunny. So it says it's forty dollars online. I'm telling you, the whole classic Winnie the Pooh here. This one here's got to be worth some money. Okay, I'm taking pictures of all of these. This says this is forty dollars on eBay right here. Forty nine for, for that bunny. For the yeah, brand new. We'll say twenty dollars for the bunny, I guess. Hey, let me this take. This one still has the tag on it. That one still has the tag on it. And it's actual Disney. Ten dollars online in better condition. Five dollars for that. These are like collectible. Yeah, because this has still got the tag on it too. The old Disney tag. All the stuffed animals. Some of them are worth like forty dollars a piece, and some of them are worth like five dollars a piece. So we'll just go ahead and say for all the stuffed animal collectibles for like fifty bucks. Okay. Another Disney painting here. We gotta check this out. I know oh. there's some paintings that go for a lot. There's an industrial fan right here. Oh, that's another Disney painting though, I think. Yeah, Animal Kingdom, Animal yeah. It's like $300 at Home Depot. These are? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. We got so, $100 fan. These uh, are going anywhere from $50 to $700. For the two Disney paintings, we'll say $35 bucks for both of them. Well, we got all these chairs here. Once they're cleaned up, we could probably get $10 a piece for each of these. So we'll you got five more over there, too. Five, yeah, where? different color. There's blue ones right there. there. Oh, the oh yeah. All right, you got a brand new patriotic reef here. Uh, I don't know what it's made out of, but it looks like it's curled wood. And the price of it brand new is $49.95. What, 20 bucks? Seems kind of fair. We got something in this <coughs> thing right here. Is this a nutcracker? We got a ballerina nutcracker. Actually, it says 2008 on it. Caution tape. Or what is it? Yeah. We got some caution tape. We find that in a lot of units, believe it or not. Yeah. Caution tape? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at all these like little trinkets right here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, col is that collectible tea oh, sets? Oh, those are collectibles, dude. Those oh, are like a miniature. A lot of them are broke. Hey, though. that might be actual gold on that rim. Really? Uh, yep. It might be. Dang, this is 1998. That's old as hell. Yeah, it's like a whole set from... This says 1999. You're right, Kyle. That might be gold on there, that rim. Look at that. That's all right there. That's a complete set That's right there. That's a complete there. set. $25 for the little collectible trinkets. All right, so you see that, right? It's got lights already pre-lit on it. They used it for something, and I think I know what it is. You got your awning. Ah. You got your sides. Ah. It's a wedding setup here. It's our own wedding venue business right here. This Done. I think we could... Hey, if we started our own wedding venue business, we could probably get 20 grand for all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right now, say 100 bucks for all this. We'll probably get like 20 bucks. Something you guys missed out on was these large paintings. Oh, there's even more back here I didn't even see. So, you got a couple of things going on here. Any of these large art pieces, even if they're prints, just because of the frame and everything that goes with it, which is very heavy duty. This one right here by itself, 200 bucks, easy. But we've got this one. We've got... This frame right here, which would go for 50 bucks. This large one right here that's wrapped up um, without, and it, this one's signed. This is an actual art piece here. I want to look at that. It, it might be a print. We'll have to look, but a nice frame. Easily 100 bucks. And then this one right here in the frame, uh, and this one here. So just these right here, you're looking at easy 300, 400 bucks easy Whew. right here. 
Dang. But okay. we've got more behind it. Yeah, and that's if none of this is like special. Oh my gosh, there is so much more back there. Look at that. Look how many more back there. You can look it up and see what this is actually worth, but I can tell you what somebody would pay for this. All right, decorate, well, let's hear it. To decorate a nursery, nursery. so we got uh, we got Poo, we got Piglet, we got Eeyore. What's your money on, Tigger? Hey, yeah. Tigger. <laughs> so we got all four of them. I would be willing to bet that you could easily, easily get $200 for that to put in a nursery. Hey, there we go. All right. Victorian style lamps here. That, that all does kind of look like it complements freaking uh yeah the nurseries. Like nurseries and everything. We have two of them over there. Yeah. But uh yeah, they're still intact, pretty good. A little dusty. You can clean it up. So one of the things that I thought was just a picture frame ended up being a mirror, which probably keeps the value right around the same of it being a, a blank frame. I said fifty bucks. Look at the back. Look at that. It says a hundred and fifty, so fifty dollars so, so fair. I learn more about this every time we do it. All my prices, I know we're probably off on a lot of this stuff, but we are just starting to figure out how to do all this stuff. So bear with us, y'all. We're still in the learning phases here. So we just did some research on this painting as well. We've been looking into it a little bit further. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. It says four hundred pounds and converted to U.S. dollars. That's five hundred for this new. That's just the print. So when you include the matting and the frame, that takes it up even more. So for sure, I mean, you get two hundred. Easy. Two hundred dollars for the painting, man. These Easy. paint. Some of these paintings are worth a lot more than I thought. I think we get at least four out of it. I, I think we, I think get, we four. get four. Out of it. Really? All right. Well, four hundred for the painting. Well, we got some palm leaf decorations here. There's a lot of like decorate decorative stuff in here. We could probably get twenty dollars for the decorations. We got three, have three more chairs here. Life jackets. Lots and lots of life jackets here. Five life jackets, what? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. For sure, 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 there, bucks I, the five life there's pad, another one over there. That brand new is $40 before, so. Yeah, another life jacket here. We are going to end up donating all those life jackets to uh, Kids Don't Float. Bryce, look what we got here. What we got? It's an antique crib. A crib? Oh. It's all steel. Oh, antique crib. The whole set, the whole, it's everything. Like, it's the base, the sides. Dude, we, we, got got an, end. we got an entire nursery here. Like, see, yeah. we got a whole People set. Oh, yeah, look, the whole set is over oh, here. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, like, everything's right there. Like, oh, dang. This right. is a whole antique crib. Min minimum 100 bucks. Yeah. Yes. People probably pay more for that. Oh, you know, probably. 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 It's heavy, too. Yeah, it's antique crib. They're heavy. They're solid, man. That's crazy. All right. That's well, awesome. $100 for the crib. Hey, oh, these wrapping papers aren't even open. Ooh. Oh, it's telescope. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Hold on. Is there a base to it? Let's see. I see it. Something. Yeah, it looks like it. Hold on, hold on. Let's pull everything else. We got a reflector on something in there too. What is that? It's got a telescope. That goes oh, on a bike. It goes on a bike. Car seat yeah. for a bike. That's I have a no idea what that's uh, worth. I don't I don't I'm gonna look up what this is worth because I I don't know what this is. Or I I know what it is, but I don't know what they go for it. If we could find the stand for this telescope, we could probably get some money for this. It's an edu dot science. It doesn't feel like a very good one, but. Oh, this thing looks busted though. Well, I just looked it up. It's uh, pretty much the same exact thing right here. It comes with the little bracket, but that says $200 right there. So that's also, peak. I'd say we can get 50 bucks for that. Heck yeah. This is actually turned out to be a pretty good unit already. <laughs> it's the cheapest one we've paid for ever. We got papers and papers. We got newspapers that look really old. Really hey, old. handle this care. Oh, in the Pacific. <gasps> Hold on, what? This, this Dude, look at, let's look super, at one of these. Super years. old. Oh, this, this has a date on it right here. It says Monday, December 1941. What? Whoa. This is Holy World War II crap. era. These are newspapers from World War II. Dude. The whole box of That's Dude. insane. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Dude. Hiroshima erased by atomic bomb, U.S. reveals. Dude, that's Oh, crazy. my gosh. Dude, that's nuts. Dude. You know what? That's crazy. Let's look at one of them, see how much they're yeah. worth. Hey. It, look, it says five cents. In, if, look at that. In the, you know, show that top left corner. Five cents. It says five cents. Dude, if you frame these, the amount you could get for each one of these papers is oh, unreal. Crap. Yeah, especially this one right here, the atomic Dude, bomb. Dude, the Hiroshima bomb one? The, the quality of the paper back then is much better than these paper these days. It's a lot thicker, I'll tell you that. Dude, I can't it's even all find out them. war here, 1941. Cleveland News. <laughs> wow. I can't even find them. Like, I can't even find any of these papers online. So, th that could mean they're either worth nothing, but I assume they'd be worth, like, there's just not that many of them around. Well, these are Fort Lauderdale, Cleveland, they're all over the United States. So, this is the Miami Herald. 
The Miami Herald is actually a big paper. It says something true. Truman, Harry Truman. That was the president. War is over. Truman announces in World War II, 1945. MacArthur picked to rule Japan. Wow. wow. Dude, this to a collectible, I don't even know what this is worth. This could be worth a lot. I don't know, I'm getting kind of excited because this is all like really old like history stuff right here. August 15, 1945. That's crazy. Ooh, and these are in plastic right here. Yeah. Oh man, Actually, they can down there. It's oh, manila look. envelopes. Let's open this one up and check what this is. Be this very is careful with that. Yes, yeah, it's first class. Let's open this up here and check out what this is. Oh, it's actually, no, newspaper clippings, I think. Oh, old pictures here. Wow, newspaper clippings, 1964. I see a date on here. There's a lot of clippings of like hurricanes, devastation hurricanes in Florida, I think. Here's a translation book from English to German. Wow. This is all like time capsule stuff. He like, he saved, whoever this person was, saved all this stuff from like important, these all hurricanes. I wonder if. In the 60s. Yeah, so it's a old cover. book here. Is it a Bible? No. It's beautiful it's gems of thought and sediment. Hey, let's look at and see how much this is yeah, worth. Yeah, let me take a picture This, is, this one might be worth something here. Man, it's like, this stuff's so old, I can't even really find it. I don't want to barely open it. I don't want to crack anything on it, you know? Like, yeah. Crazy. We got to have someone come take a look at this. A, like a history buff who knows like what this stuff might potentially be worth. That's a very, very old Bible. There are notes and stuff written back here. 1924 it says. Yes, 1924, 1886. It's all written back Dude, here. Dude, that's wow. so, this is so old. old. And you can Holy tell by this thing so old. This thing is, honestly, it could be 150 years old at least. Just the history factor of this stuff is just so cool. It's like, I don't know what it's worth or have no idea. This is like, Probably some priceless stuff right here. This says American Occupied Territory. Wow. And it's just got, it's full of just pictures. And it says where it is on the bottom. That's it. All you can eat for a dollar twenty-five shrimp night. Al Hibbler? <laughs> it's 1964, so. Dude, look at how cheap everything was. So look what I just, look what I have in my hand right now. This is a photograph of some kind of fireworks or some kind of explosion. You can barely see you make it out of anything here. That could but, be wartime stuff. Yeah. It's some kind of photograph, but if you actually look at the back, uh -huh. July 4th, 1919, so it might be fireworks. Oh, oh Over 100 years wow. old photograph right here. That's it crazy. It says the barrage from the four something. I couldn't read out the rest here. July 4th, 1919. So you're looking at, what, 105 years old. Dude, that's crazy. You know, oh, like dude, this Indiana. is all from Germany. Look, you can see. 1923. Oh. So it is over 100 years old. Dude, it's 101 years old, actually. This guy must have been in the war, because look at that. It's just completely destroyed. Hang yeah. on, let me get. There we go. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah, these pictures are 100 years old. Actually, just one behind here. Just one way back here. That's a postcard. It's a postcard. It doesn't say. But this one here says 1923 on it. We received, wow. let's say, September the 27th, 1923. That's crazy. So it's over 100 old. years old. All these pictures are over 100 years old. It's a little table. It's like a little Victorian style table. It's actually like. Hey, that looks kind of nice, man. Be careful. With whoa, 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 whoa. Be very careful. Hold on. The exact same one is going for $500 on eBay what? right now. Oh. Yes. And that's Damn. a used one just like that. Dang, okay. So it's so going for all 500 on eBay. It's, uh, it's 500 now going for it. Dang, okay. That's $500 right there. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well, wow. it's going for 500 on eBay, so we'll say 300 And that makes me feel good if they have nice quality furniture because. That's all furniture right there. And look, at it's all wrapped up nice too, so. I don't know, man. We might get some money out of the furniture side of stuff here too. Get ahead of these, I thought it would be. Uh, it's a, it's a yeah, two-person kayak. It's a good brand, it's ocean kayak. All right. Brand, so. No, I think that's just a, Wait, no, just that's a, a one-person ocean ki uh, kayak. That's good for waves and stuff, bro. Yeah, sealed too. All right. Yeah, and this is huge for a one-person kayak. $350 on Craigslist. So, yeah, I think $200 is fair, and we'll throw in the wheels, too. So, $200 for the kayak and the wheels. Are those Beanie Babies? These are all, like, old. Oh, dude, are those Beanie Babies? These are all, like, old, old. Yes, that's a Beanie Baby. Oh, my. Old okay, I know some of these Beanie Babies go for a lot. There's a lot of Beanie Babies Hey, there's there. a Winnie Pooh. Bust up animals You got the tags on them still, too? Is it, I think it's Cabbage Patch Doll. Owen. There's a lot of old. Like, oh, man, this is dude. old, old. This is retro right here. All right, we gotta take pictures of some of this stuff here. Yeah, that big old thing, I thought that'd be great in my garage. I got two already. <laughs> you want it, it'll sell you for 50 bucks. 
Uh-uh. <laughs> 40. <laughs> 10. <laughs> hey, you can have it for 10. You take, you take it with you right now. <laughs> you can have it for 10 bucks. Hey, we might have already just sold something right here. We got to go through it real quick. Yeah, we still got to go through it. What is that, a motor in there? That's really awesome. Do oh, what? Is, oh, that's carburetor. Okay, well, kit. that makes sense about all the uh, bandages and wound care. Uh, Bob is going to have to blur this, but oh, that dude's whoa. knee is done. There's bone. There's more. There's a whole stack of them. Okay, guys. Let's what? Oh! Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, you're gonna have to. Oh! Oh! My God. Oh! My God. Oh! What is that? I don't know what that is. That's the same knee. I know you're not gonna Oh my show gosh, this, bro. Golly, Damn! Man. Oh, that's his foot! There's more. Oh! Oh, yeah, this on my foot. Look at that bone. Oh, There's like dude. nothing left, bro. Oh, this one's got a gang green on it. Oh! Yeah, we had to blur all that, but trust me, like not for the weak stomach. Yeah, we should be able to get twenty dollars a piece for these. These are a little scuffed up, but I mean, a little bit of TLC should be able to get twenty bucks a piece for them. This looks like it kind of goes with that. But the button broke off though. Oh, there it is. Made in America. Ethan Allen coffee table. It looks like it's all matches right here though. All right, there we go. I don't know. Ten bucks for the coffee table. Once we glue the thing back on. Sure. This is custom made. That's that's what the well, lady was saying. Upholster. She was saying that this is a custom bed frame right here. I don't even know how much this is gonna be worth here. We got the full thing though. It looks like a kid's bed. Yeah. Twin size, full size. Yeah. And honestly, like, I mean, it's just got like, a little bit of dust on it, but dude, I don't even know. What, what's the guess on that furniture guy? I think I could get two hundred bucks for it. All right, two hundred dollars for the pink fuzzy bed. Oh, I know what this is. What this is goes it? on top of like a bookcase and it has lights in it. There's the lights in it. This is ah. the top of like a an entertainment center. The jewelry box. Oh, what's in there? Oh, oh. stuff. Let's see what's inside the jewelry box. Jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like much though. Just like little it's tiny little, bracelets and. It's a bunch of phone cases. Happy like birthday. The size of this. This was an iPhone five, maybe. A spare model. So it had to be an iPhone five size. Nothing in the jewelry case. All right, there's something in here. Oh, it's a oh. Little, little tea set. Something. Okay. Hey, keep that together. Yeah. Don't pull look any of those that. little plates it's a and whole stuff out. Little like tea set. Hey, look. I found a brand. This is a good pair of Prada glasses. That's actually prescription glasses. Those They're are Prada. Prada. Yep. Prada made it in Italy. So those frames, then, what do you think those frames are worth? Uh, probably. I mean. Being as Jews, I mean, you probably get 50 bucks out of it. Okay. All right. 50 bucks. So, you know, for the frame. What the hell is this thing? A drumstick? That is a magic wand. We got some Harry Potter. <laughs> Something. I don't know. We got a magic wand, apparently. All right. We got an Annie Klein watch here. Female's watch. Oh. So oh. we probably can get about mm, Annie Klein watches. Or maybe I think by Fossil also. So you probably get about $25 for this thing. All right. There you go. $25 watch. Got an ice watch, man. This thing's plastic, but hey, decorative. A lot of people, little girls like to wear this. Dude, I would rock that I on think the, the boat. Battery's dead, man. But an old three-dollar battery wouldn't fix this sucker up. I can buy get about five, ten dollars out of it. We did have another table down here. I could easily get a hundred bucks for that table down there. And now we're pulling out these pieces here. It actually is to it. The same it is. Yeah, it matches but the right base there. Is so heavy. <laughs> so uh, that means yeah. it's very good quality. Very good quality. Solid. I would be willing to bet you, and especially if that piece right over there matches. I don't know about this one here, but if that piece no, over this there, is white. You can actually see a cream color white. Right, but that one back there looks like it might match. I would say for this with this and that piece back there for office furniture, as long as it's not scuffed up real bad and it doesn't appear to be like even this one that's not protected as well as these looks in great shape. Honestly, dude, I really think we can get a thousand bucks for this. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you guys have made it this far, leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see y'all later. Peace.